Alright guys, Traveling Blade here, back again for another home vlog and today, oh my god, we have the small issue of the Steel City Derby, Jesus Christ. Here we go, in Sheffield, bright and early. As of yet, I've seen very few police, very few blades and owls. This is the calm before the storm. I am absolutely bricking it for tonight. I could hardly sleep last night. Usually on these videos, I come out and say where the two teams are in the league, but today, that and form, as everyone's been saying, goes out the window. I mean, you know, United are considerably higher up the league than Wednesday. Wednesday are in an awful run of form. They, I think they've lost four on the bounce, with the last being a 4-0 defeat to Norwich. We lost our last game as well, but before that we were in decent form. That means nothing today. If anything, that makes me more nervous. The fact that Wednesday have lost four on the bounce before today makes me more nervous because to me they're going to be going all guns blazing to get a result. No matter who they were playing today, they need a result. They could be playing Ipswich at home and they'd have, you know, they'd have to go out and get a result. Uh, just knowing Wednesday and knowing how these Steel City Derby's go. I can't see any other result than Wednesday shit house and a 1-0 win today. Adam Beach, top bins. I'm, I'm almost convinced many are tipping United to be the favourites and we will be on paper, which that unnerves me. I'm, I'm happy going into games as an underdog such as when we won at Hillsville last season, we were the underdogs. And then when we were the favourites, we drew 0-0. See, the fact that United are much higher up the league than Wednesday, and in a better run of form, and tipped to be favourites, that makes me even more nervous, because I'm just convinced that Wednesday are going to go out there, uh, get an upset. I've seen a lot of Wednesday fans on social media saying, oh, United are going to batter us. I'm not buying that whatsoever. You know, a lot of Blades as well, to, you know, saying that it's going to be easy. It's not. It's going to be... It's going to be tight. Whoever wins tonight, it will be tight. I, I can't, you know, I cannot see it being an open game. Absolutely electric atmosphere. Be like a cold. I'm hoping we make it, make it really hostile for them. Hopefully, you know, crack under the pressure, get a bit nervous under the atmosphere. Absolute bag of nerves. So my way to Bramall Lane now, pick up my ticket for the for the way. Then meet my mate at the top. Have a couple of, or you know, have one or two just to take the edge off. It'll be a good game. I can, I can guarantee that it'll be a good game. Team news for United. Uh, we actually have a fully fit squad, which is excellent news. Yeah, I can probably guarantee 10 of the starting 11. Henderson, Basham, Egan, O'Connell, Stevens, Freeman, Fleck, Norwood, Duffy, Sharp. I'm not sure whether it'll be McGoldrick or Clark. A lot of people said they'd prefer McGoldrick, but I can see Wilder being tempted to go with Clark instead of McGoldrick, but don't know. I know there's Wednesday. Wednesday may or may not play Matthias and Forestieri. Don't know what's going to happen there. To be honest, hopefully they do play so that Wednesday fans don't have any excuses if we win. But it's got I'm going to die. I'm absolute bag of nerves. I'll probably throw up halfway through the game. I'll probably start crying at some point. But yeah, it's going to be tasty. All right, so the lineup's is out. It's pretty much as expected. He has gone with McGoldrick over Clark, so you've got Henderson in there. A back line of Basham, Egan, O'Connell. Your wing backs as uh, Freeman and Stevens. Your midfield with Norwood, Duffy and Fleck. Thank Christ Duffy's playing. Um, and your front two as uh, Sharp and McGoldrick. It's pretty much our first team. I'm hoping we play our best football because that should mean we win. But it's a derby, so who the fuck knows what will happen. It's going to be 
After missing that pen, it feels like we're 1-0 down. Our corner this game have left a lot to be desired, I have to say. Alright, so, half time, United nil, Wednesday nil. I don't know why McGoldy took the penalty and not short, but it wasn't the greatest penalty. A decent save by the Wednesday keeper. But it wasn't a great penalty. Uh, United have had the majority of the game. I think Wednesday have had a, they had a decent chance um, before we got the penalty when they could have really scored and my heart was in my mouth. But everything Wednesday thrown at us, we've defended. It's one of them games where I can just see United having the majority of the play, the majority of the possession, you know, all the attacking play, and then we lose or throw it away. If it stays nil-nil, no doubt the picks will be celebrating like they won the fucking World Cup or something like that. Same like they did last season. But yet again, yet again, our final ball is letting us down. And it's costing us points. It's costing us points. You know, we've had the majority of the play, but we're not making anything of it. Got a pen, fucking wasted that. Why Sharp was on penalties, I do not know. Struggling to break Wednesday down. 
Yet again, for United struggling to break down a team lower in the league. Story this season. Once again this season, United have got all the play, but not being clinical enough, not being ruthless enough. At best, I can see at best getting a draw. Because I, it's hard to see a score tonight, we can't break them down. Wednesday aren't playing well, but we still get to break them down once again. But Goldrick's coming off for Clark. Hopefully it changes them for North Front. But we are being so wasteful with the ball. So inefficient in attack. Hopefully Clark changes something. About just over 15 minutes left. I can't see his scoring, but I can see his conceit. My heart is stuck. Shut the fuck up! Oh no! Oh no! Fuck! Oh. How would it concede then? I'm pretty sure it was a penalty too to Wednesday. Probably was a handball from what I saw here. What the fuck's happening? Yet again, United wait our chances up from standoff. I'm probably going to concede. Same old fucking story. Why do we never learn? If there is a God, if there is a God. Oh, oh for fuck's sake! Oh! Another nil-nil win for Wednesday. Yet again, they've won nil-nil. Go on, you bastards. Keep bouncing. So full time United nil Wednesday nil. It's very frustrating. Um, it feels it feels like a loss really. Uh, what with it being a nil nil with the amount of possession we had, um, with how well we how well we played in the first half, especially considering that we actually had a penalty. Looking back, it wasn't particularly bad. Uh, it was a good save. I think it's reflecting the fact that I think it was Dors uh, Cameron Dawson for Wednesday in there was the man of the match. I mean, as soon as that United said about, oh, nominate your man of the match, I went, when's his keeper? He played very well, but um, we didn't force him into that many saves, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, he played well, but we didn't force him into too many saves. He had a very good save at the end from a free kick that we had. Once again, United, some lovely build-up play. Nowhere near clinical or ruthless enough when we actually get to the box. You know, once again, we have great build-up play, getting to the box, but actually going from there to scoring, we struggle with. That's what happened tonight. Wednesday clearly came with a game plan, sit back, play for the point, and it's worked. And that's the difference between sides like us who do quite well and end up in the right end of the league, and then sides that actually get promoted. I saw a Fulham fan on Twitter tonight saying that United reminded him of Fulham last season before they signed Mitrovic. You know, great build-up play, but then, you know, run out of ideas when we get to the six-yard box. And uh, he said United are a good one good strike away from getting promoted. I just think it's something like that. I mean, it's not just the strikers, to be honest. I think our final balls let us down a little bit tonight. I think the positive, from, well, you know, I think it ended the fleck or ban and debate. I think that's been put to bed. And also, you know, the, the difference the year's made. I mean, just over, well, you know, last September, we were going to Hillsborough. The, as massive underdogs um, expecting to lose pretty much and what a year and two months later well less less than that the tables have completely turned and most of the possession but then again what's the point of having the possession if we can't win so as much as we dominated Wednesday tonight and it looks you know shows that we are the on paper you know on by stats the better team we've come away with as many points as they have so yet again at Bramall Lane another frustrating Steel City Derby. Hopefully when we go to Hillsborough, we win. But 
who knows? There's a long way to go yet. Anyway, guys, I've been the Travelling Blade. I've lost my voice, and I'll see you for Rotham away.